So last night, um, I actually posted this on my Twitter, which I'm sure most of you don't watch my Twitter anymore, but um, I actually, well, this is a surprising news. It's in regards to Jibo, and in, it's the article from The Verge. Um, apparently, Jibo owners have received this sad message from Jibo saying that the server is going to go down, so that there was a fear that some people even thought about, well, what should we do since Jibo is not going to operate anymore? They should re should we bury the Jibo and, and stuff like that? But the title is it basically saying that Jibo, the social robot that was supposed to die because we all knew it went down, the company is getting a second life. So when you actually scroll down, you'll find out the actual company that bought Jibo, the whole copyright in the digital software and etc. Uh, is actually bought by a company called NTT Disruption. Okay, so it's a similar circumstance with the um, Anki Vector. So Digital Dream Lab actually bought all the rights, the digital files uh, that is related, everything that is related to Anki that um, operates um, Vector and they're doing the same thing. So NTT is doing that to Jibo. It's very interesting. So we're seeing this some sort of like a trend where robotic companies going down and a resurrection uh, pattern happening, which I think is the need of mankind of this AI and a lot of companies actually can um, pass that on the baton and then move on to the next level. I, I, I guess it's all down to the money wise but obviously I don't know how much money goes in and how long it takes to maintain all this project but what is quite interesting about this article in the final paragraph one or two is saying that um, NTT disruption is also planning to um, create this kind of a digital twin for the physical Jibo so I think it's some sort of like a um, like on your smartphone or something like that you'll be able to talk with Jibo but um, yeah, I just had a quick look at the MTT disruption. Um, is it only me or I don't know, I, when you go to their website, I just can't understand what they really do. It seems like they are very, they're expert on developing high tech uh, technologies and I don't know way, how they got their money, but they do, they're into serious business like health, sports and entertainment, automobile, um banking as well liquid bank um so if you actually go to their website it shows um jibo as one of their products as well but the problem is when you actually type in i actually noticed when you go to google and type in where to buy jibo it seems to be one of the um quite a popular word on online at the moment you can't really find any place to buy a jibo i know when it was released it was about 800 us dollars and um, it, it is quite a tempting robot. I actually thought a while ago when it was released, I couldn't afford it. Not that I actually make a lot of money nowadays, but Jibo is quite a important um, stepping stone for the social robot. Uh, well, we got a lot of other robots that's coming along as well, in, indeed. Um, also that robot for the child that um, suddenly I can't remember the name, but anyway. Um, very exciting. Uh, I just want to give you guys a heads up because this channel is about a lot of things about robots and AI is one of my, you know, really interesting subjects that I'm really interested on. Um, and I just want to keep you guys updated on this. So good news. Well done. So um, NTT Disruption, uh, well done for getting all the Jibo and getting that pattern. And then we shall see how this Jibo will contribute to the society and look forward to their contribution. So. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, brilliant news. So let's see more AI robots coming along. Okay, all the best. Bye-bye.